YouTube, it's Drunken Jack here again with uh, CZE Cybertron's Elite. And today we're going to be looking at the Toy World's uh, TWC01 Bulldozer. Um, this is the first one from their line. I know I did already, what was it, five and six? And uh, there's one and two, and then three and four in the middle, which haven't been released yet. So we're going to take a look at uh, the first one here, and then we're going to look at the second one as well to make the four. And then when the other two come out, we'll make the six. All right, so looking at the box. Again, you got the artwork in the front here, the side, the other picture, the other half of the Devastator uh, artwork we're going to see. Again, on the back, all the writing. Don't let Pac Man eat your Transformer. And let's open it up, see what we got inside. Instructions. So you got the instruction booklet here. Uh, on the back with the artwork a sticker and this is another one of those holographic cards now apparently I guess on this one uh, it's supposed to make when you turn it over to the back it's supposed to make the actual uh, um, artwork I guess combined uh, and on the front is the actual holographic uh, picture of uh, bulldozer so that's what's in this one here and I really do like this stuff here it's cool it's a good packaging all right inside the box we've got this big old mitt of a hand. We've got the gun for him. We've got Devastator's forearm, which is ridiculously huge. Drill. More of this nice stuff here. Come on. We got Bulldozer here. And then they also included. extra tread pieces and these are going to be screw hole covers that are here so that's pretty neat that they included these so let's get this box out of the way let's get all this junk out of here actually I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna show you something with that all right let's start with the accessories uh, this is gonna be bulldozer's gun real nice again just like the other ones that we looked at uh, gun with the uh, red painting on it so real real nice gun I like the guns that they're making Screw hook covers just to cover up all the little screw uh, holes that are inside the figure. Extra treads. All right, so this figure, uh, the plastic quality I think is really good, with the exception of the treads. I think the quality of the plastic on the treads is really poor. I hadn't really messed with it, and I was just moving the treads, and a couple of them started to, um, I guess, like break apart. So that's why they gave these extra ones here, so I guess for a pair of reasons why. Uh, so that's one of the gripes that I have with this figure. Uh, I know a, a lot of other folks had to gripe with it as well. And it's just the quality of the plastic on the treads, which is why it's like that. Uh, you get the big old Devastator forearm piece with his hand and then the drill bit here. So before we get to the figure, let's just put this thing together and just kind of see how it looks. Now the hand itself, all the fingers are articulated. Um, each digit is also articulated. Not on a ball joint, just an up and down motion here, which is really cool. Uh, thumb too. Thumb just goes this way. Um, and you can come out like this only, but this does not move, so you don't get like a full ball joint move like that. So you can just push this, click it in, and there it is. And the way you want to get it out is there's a purple button here. Just push that, and it kind of fires out like a missile. So that's really neat. Another cool thing I like about it is when it does uh, move at the ratchet here it opens and closes on that form which is really cool I think that's a really neat piece of little engineering work that they did there so we'll get more into this later once we put it onto him oh and let's do this real quick you can also just attach where's it at you can attach this drill bit there so that way he's got like you can just and then break through the rocks so Oh, that shot out like a damn missile for sure. Holy cow. All right. All right, the figure itself. Here he is in his bulldozer form. It's nice. I like it. Uh, coming out of the package, these are down, that's flipped down. These actually go up. I guess because of the way the figure is in the package, uh, you need to have this thing closed down. So all you do is just flip up this piece right here. 
and that actually gives the the whole piece here so it's a lot bigger so it looks better um i i do like it like i said the treads do move you can move them independently of each other now do they move if you put them on a table somewhat if you have it on a smooth surface they're not going to move you can see that one moves really well this one and again it depends on the way you have it transformed um but the reason i wanted to save this is because on this one it moves pretty well too so it's really neat. I like the way the treads move. That is cool. Uh, but like I said, sometimes the treads can break apart just because they're made of not, not as good quality plastic. But that's a really neat feature that they did with that figure. Uh, this moves up and down somewhat, not really. Um, you're going to get about like this and then about like that. And then that's about it. That's all you're getting with that. So um, Impressive? Probably not. So, Alright, that's pretty much it. Now... Before we get into transforming them, what I want to do is I want to make them into the limb mode. And what you want to do here is first just disconnect this piece here. It's the easier way to do it. Just connect this piece here. Pop that off. Pop this one here off the side there. And those just plug into these little ports right here. Or these little plug up. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. And then all you're going to do now is you're going to just pop this down like this. You can slip that open just so you can see what we're doing here. And you're going to grab the hand or the forearm. And you're going to want to start, this is going to be on the top, so it's going to sit like this, and then this is going to go into the bottom. So these two uh, pegs right here are going to go into those two peg holes that are right there. So we'll start that off, and I think what I did last time was I put this on first. And that's just going to slide right up into that, I don't know how well you can catch it there, but right up into that spot right there. So slide that up, and then you bring this guy down. And those just peg into that hole right there. Let me get those. There it goes. And just put everything back together. That way you got him nice and secured on the hand. There we go. And then just go ahead and take these two back and plug them back into the sides there. Now on the back, on the bottom here actually I should say, is where the actual combiner port joint's gonna be. So you can sit here and fuss it and try to take it out there, but this thing is really strong ratchet. So when you're actually when you actually open this up, it's better to pull it out then. Uh, we're not gonna do that now just because again, uh, that's just gonna be when we combine them, but we can do that later on. All right, so this is a big arm. I mean, look at my beer here. That's ridiculous. So let's look at this guy. Okay, this is Combiner Wars. Let's be fair about it. Let's look at this. You put these up tread to tread. And just how much bigger that arm is. I mean, just how beefy that arm is compared to this one. It's ridiculously big. So that is huge. No comparison to this guy at all. What he will compare it to, and I got him off camera here, I'm going to bring him over here, is Generations Metroplex. Alright, we'll look at Generations Metroplex, and I don't know if you can get him all in the frame there, uh, Fiona. But this actually probably scales better with that. I mean, just look at this. Actually, his form, right down to here, is actually longer than Metroplex. So, he's actually going to be, again, in scale with Metroplex when he's all said and done. So it's just crazy how big this is. I mean, this is a big, big arm here. Uh, like I said, so it's going to be scaled well with Metroplex. And he's going to tower over uh, Combiner Wars uh, Devastator. Which, speaking of which, I have him over here, uh, armless. I'm just going to pull him up here. Just to show you again, look at this arm here. I mean, holy cow, he can almost touch his toes with this arm here if we were to put him on there. It's crazy, crazy big. So just to kind of show you that as comparison. All right, now we're gonna get this guy back off. Again, just unplug these. Pop this open here. And he's back off, so. And since we were doing that, let's compare him over here with this guy. 
I can remember how this thing came off right there. All right, Combiner Wars, Toy World. Nice. He's bigger, obviously. He's a lot taller. Lengthwise, they're actually probably just about the same in length. Um, Combiner Wars may be just like a tenth of an inch or a quarter of an inch shorter over at the, the uh, bucket here. But for the most part, lengthwise, they're the same. He's just a lot taller, and obviously he's a lot uh, beefier. You can see here and here as well. Uh, let's see, MP cars. I have MP Sideswipe, or G2 MP Sideswipe. So you can see the way it kind of scales with the Masterpiece car. Pretty cool. MP10. Here goes next to MP10. Uh, MP10, obviously a lot, uh, well not a lot, I wouldn't say a whole lot longer than he is, but uh, bigger than he is. If we're looking right here at the top of the canopy though, it's actually just a hair taller than Prime is. Um, and then just top to bottom, again you can see Prime's about an inch taller, so really neat, really cool. I like the scaling that they're doing here, so that's good. And then because I've been doing it with the other ones, we're going to bring in G Creations, Wrath or Grimlock, just again to see how he looks compared to them. Because like I said, this guy's going to combine and they're going to combine, so it's going to be a really cool thing. So it just kind of shows size comparison against those guys as well. I'm pretty sure he'd be scrolling away if Grimlock was chasing him down like that. So, Okay, transformation. Uh, first thing you're going to do is just pop these little two bits off here on the side here. This one and this one. Okay, and you just take these, spin them to the side, and just sit them on the inside of these two little, there's a little groove here that this will just sit in. So you spin that down and just kind of sit there. And it doesn't snap in, it just sits in there like that. Uh, then just go ahead and pull this whole piece off just right here like this. It'll come up and kind of free itself, and now you're sitting with this, just like this. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the legs and open them up. Let's get this scoop out of the way. Alright, now, the one issue that some were having, they said that this was real hard to snap together. And it really isn't if you do it right. If you were to, let's say, move this one first, and then try and do this one, it's not gonna, it's not gonna move, or it's not gonna sit together. You have to do them both at the same time so that they both kind of collapse. So that this collapses into that. And I know that looks nasty, but you kind of get what I'm saying. So we're gonna take that, and if we just push them both down at the same time, and let's get the legs, spin them around there. Spin the legs down like that so that way these two are on the inside here. And you want to get them to where they come together easily. So like I said, if you don't, then it's going to be hard to get them to snap together. Okay, so see, so yeah, on my first try, I was able to get it. So you just get that. Get these legs open. And just snap that together. And it's done. No big deal. All right, going down to the feet, you want to take the feet, you're going to separate them, just, let's do this here. They're sitting like this on the inside, just take them, flip it, and flip it. Take this one, and this tab's going to go into there, just close that up, and then just bring this around here, and it's going to sit just like that. Same thing on the other side, you can take this one, flip it over. And it's just like that. So now you're sitting with it looking just like this. To so do the same thing on the other side. Open them down. Flip them out. Flip it out. Come on. Down. Flip. Close. And you're good. Bottom half almost done. What you want to do now is take these little arm bits. Or these little pieces that we were using on the treads earlier. And you're just going to kind of lift this piece up and slide it up and you're going to connect these two. And the reason for that is so that when you bend the legs, the treads don't come off the actual uh, piece itself. It kind of keeps the treads into place. So take that, spin it. Take this one, spin it. Lock them in. 
and we're good. So now, when you bend the legs, that tread actually stays inside there. It's not going to go popping out. All right, now to the top. What we're going to do here is, let's get this out of the way. We're going to bend this down just to get out of the way for right now. All right, here, you need to kind of sandwich this down a little bit like this, the way they're kind of going down. Because these two little uh, rectangular pegs are going to peg into those two little slots right there. Now the only way that's going to work is if these two go down. Because what has to happen is this little uh, gray piece right here, this hole in the gray piece, got to fit on that purple deal right there. And it's got to be the same thing on both sides. So you kind of have to push them down. And this is giving me a little bit of trouble earlier when I was messing with it. So let me just do that. And work them, work them. All right, there you go. So again, this, they're gonna come down. That's gonna push that body into it like that. All right, next thing, and this one's a little bit of a job because this is on two hinges, this little uh, port here is. So it bends up like this. And then it also bends up on this top piece. Now this top one is this, the tougher of the two. And I tried messing with this earlier when I was at work, and this thing almost cracked my finger open. So you gotta have some strong finger bones. So I found it was easy to put it. Oh, I thought I did anyways. All right, let me jack with this for a minute. No pun intended, my name is Jack, but whatever. So you gotta sit there and you really gotta mess with it. It's a pain in the ass if you don't. That's what it is, okay, my bad. I was thinking about the other one. All right, so instead of going up with that second one, instead of going up, you're gonna bring it down. So that's a lot easier. So just push this piece down, all the way down like that. And then this whole piece is gonna come up and it's gonna sit in there just like that. So now you're left with just this little piece sticking out. Now you can take this, cover it down, Actually, you know what? I'm looking. Let's first do this. Let's separate the arms. And let's go ahead and flip open his head. Because not, the head's going to get in the way. Okay, so flip up his head. Now we'll take that piece, close it down. And then this little backpack piece is just going to sit over there. And it's not really going to cover it or clamp down, but it's going to kind of give him a, a cleaner silhouette on the back there. All right. And then this the canopy, just going to take that and slide that down. And it's going to sit right on his back there to cover it even more. Okay. Flip his head around. And then the chest piece here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this. And you can pull these two little pins out right there. Flip this up. Let's get his arms done first. Kind of all over the place here. Alright, arms. You're going to take them and just pull them apart like this. And that goes like that. So this is going to be sitting in the front, this purple bit here. And you're going to take the arm, once you do that, and just bend that down like that, and then just close that down there. So same thing over here, pro piece in the front, pull it out, bring it down, close this down right there. And take this, fold it up, and it's not going to, if you look, it's not going to like clamp in anywhere. That's what these two little bits are for here, they're just going to close up, and they're going to sit right on those two little spots right there. So it kind of clamps down, it's not the most secure uh, hold that you're going to get, but it does the job. So you get that, and then over here, these two little tabs are going to plug in, one right there, that bends at that one, and the other one, just right on the other side here, okay? And the arm, same thing, all you're going to do is just the same thing we've always done, flip it open, flip the hand out, close it up, flip it open, hand out, close it up, turn the hand, turn the hand, 
Open the little fingers up. And open the little fingers up. And then just square them away. Let me fix them up here. And there you go. There he is in his robot mode. Really neat. I like him. Uh, I know some individuals are having trouble with theirs. I really didn't have any problems with mine. Like I said, the only thing I noticed was on the treads. But I heard people saying something about their elbows and this and that. But for me, I didn't have any issues with mine. So I think he's a really cool looking butt. Um, I dig the face. I think the face is cool. The visor is cool. Uh, as far as articulation goes, he can look up about that much. Look down just about that much. He can turn his head all the way around exercise style if you want. Um, arms. The whole shoulder will go full 360. You got a bicep swivel right there. You can make the arm shorter if you wanted to. Uh, it's going to bend 90 degrees right there. The wrist obviously does have a swivel on it. Uh, fingers, like I mentioned before, they're all are, are, they're all individually articulated, just not at each of the joints. Legs. Let's get these arms out of the way. Uh, he does have a waist swivel all the way around. Uh, legs gonna come. They're gonna go forward, all the way, backwards, all the way. You're not gonna get if you pull it down. You might. Since the legs are kind of on a ball joint, you can actually pull them down further. But you're not going to get any kind of really outward motion just because of the way the treads are. So you're not going to really get out and up. So he can't. He's not going to be able to do that number, just for that simple fact. So uh, legs, though, they do bend again at the knee, right there. So you get a full 90 degrees at the knee. As far as the feet go, um, you're not going to get a whole lot of movement on them. I mean, you'll get some a toe tip like that and out. Um, but you're not going to get anything because of that. You're not going to get like an actual like toe bend up, if you will, or an ankle bend up, if you will, either. So, but you could get him if you want to a bit of a wide pose and get him out like that. So, there he goes. Uh, his gun is going to fit into his hand, just like the others. And again, the tab is actually on the hand and not on the gun itself. If I can get it. I was raving about how I like this, and now I can't even get the stupid hand, the gun onto the hand. There we go. And then again, once you get it, you're secure. So, there's his gun. Uh, let's look at some size comparisons. So, there he is with uh, MP Sideswipe. Obviously bigger than Sideswipe is, which he should be. I mean, again, he's a construction vehicle, so he should be bigger than a Lamborghini. Uh, here he is with MP Ironhide. And they're about the same height. I mean, I think Ironhide's maybe a hair taller, if that. But if you were to pull the legs down and kind of extend them a little bit more, uh, you can get him to be the exact same height as Ironhide. So that's cool. And then uh, I'm going to do the White Prime or the KO uh, Ultra Magnus MP10 style. And there he is next to them. So again, good size bot, uh, good plastic quality. I don't think the plastic is cheap, except for like I said on the treads. Aside from that, I think the plastic on the figure is good. Um, let's get these guys out of the way. And again, because I've done it with the others, here's next to Grimlock. And Grimlock is still bigger than him. So I'm sure again, if Grimlock was running at him, he'd probably think twice before Grimlock came up and just chomped him around the chest piece. So, um, that's it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the next review as well, cover that, and uh, just give you my thoughts on that. And once we have all six of them together, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, combine them all up and just see how massively tall he is once the next two come out. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to us and uh, check out our other videos. And if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, any other reviews you'd like to see, maybe something that's already been done but you want to see my take on it, uh, please feel free to let me know. And uh, if I had the figure... Or if I plan to get it, I'll go ahead and do that. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.